How's it going, everyone? It's Sam. It seems like the markets are pricing in a Trump victory. They think that it's over. That's done. It seems like uh, right now, Trump is up seven, has a chance of winning of 75% according to the prediction markets. If you look here, let's go to live. He's got 168 of the of the 270 electoral votes needed. Of course, a lot of this has been in the South and the Midwest, so we'll have to continue to watch this. The markets are racing up. Bitcoin just hit 72,600, and it's just going nearly straight up at this point. This is after just a few hours ago, it was at 69,000. It's just gone up. Halfway throughout the day, it went sideways for a couple hours, then continued to spike up, liquidating a ton of shorts. Uh, I want to talk about what's happening in the market. If you don't mind, hit subscribe, turn on the bell notification underneath the video so you can see future videos just like this. If you want to trade this, if you want to trade this breakout, if you if you think this is overblown and you want to short it or you want to go long because you think we're hitting all-time highs tonight, whatever you want to do, there's a link to Marjex underneath the video. I still think you have time. To be able to get in, place long trades. This is a trade that I placed yesterday. It's up 200 and 204%. This is after I took profits on it earlier today. Uh, yeah, this is just insane. But this is something that you can do with leverage trading instead of being up, you know, 30 bucks or 20 bucks or something like that. I'm up 450 after taking profit. So if you want to place trades, there's a link to Marjex underneath the video. Let's start here. As I said, looks like Trump's going to win at this point. Chances are. You know, you'd rather be on the Trump side than the Harris side right now. Like if if this was you, right, and you could be in Harris's situation or Trump's situation, you would you would go for Trump, or you would be, wish you were in Trump's position to win this. Now, I'm not trying to get political on this channel. All I'm talking about is what happens to Bitcoin and what I'm seeing. Right. So this has been something that a lot of Bitcoiners have wanted. To be clear, this is causing a lot of shorts to get liquidated causing the price to jump up very quickly. Just a few seconds ago, we were at 71,000. So now we're jumping up very quickly. Uh, as you can see here too, like Tesla raced up today. Maybe someone knew something, up 3.5% of the day, then up 3% after market hours. This is also very good for Tesla because Elon Musk has really put himself behind Trump. A lot of Bitcoiners have put themselves um, on Trump's side this is good for the people that have backed the winner. I think it's quite obvious. Just like, you know, in olden times, if you back the person that was trying to be king and then they become king, usually they help you out, right? They reward you. Um, you, you have uh, access to their ear, stuff like that. So I think this is good for Bitcoiners. I think this is good for Tesla investors. Uh, as you can see here, the markets, well, actually, I think it was Goldman Sachs, yeah, thought that a Trump victory would push up Bitcoin's price by 7.7%. Now, what's it up to date? 7.2. So they're doing a pretty damn good job over there at Goldman Sachs so far. Um, but of course, the election's not done, right? The markets are starting to price that in. Uh, and they're leaning towards Trump winning, but it's not guaranteed yet by any means. So it will be interesting to see. Bitcoin dominance is spiking up, although I have seen some altcoins, you know, doing well. Bitcoin obviously leading the way, but look at this. Shiba up 12%, Pepe up 16, Dogecoin up 21, uh, Caspa up 11%, Solana up 13. It's up at 178, 179. Uh, so, yeah, a lot of altcoins starting to do well in addition to Bitcoin. Now, just a few days ago, uh, actually a week ago, um, we were getting a $900 million inflow into IBIT. $900 million in one day. Saylor announced that he was looking to buy $42 billion. Meanwhile, the Fed is cutting rates going into a strong uh, economy. And yet, the price of Bitcoin still fell. Right, That was on the 30th. Bitcoin was at you know, near all-time highs, within a couple hundred dollars of all-time highs, and it fell. It fell uh, all the way down to 66,000, and some people were panicking, some people were selling, it went down 9%. Now, within a few hours, it's right back up, uh, almost to where it was before. Keep in mind, all these things are still the case, right? IBIT still really likes Bitcoin. They 
have not had an outflow day in weeks. Uh, and even yesterday on a tough day when a lot of other e ETFs were selling, overall there was a half a billion in outflows. Ibit still bought Bitcoin yesterday. Sailor, still going to buy $42 billion worth of Bitcoin. Difference is now there might be, you know, Again, there might be some people that are helped out, whether it's regulation, whether it is Gary Gensler getting out of office, if, again, if Trump wins. Also, strategic stockpile of Bitcoin is on the table, right? How cool would that be if the U.S. kind of led the, the race to grab some Bitcoin? Maybe they grab, I don't know, 100,000 to start, 200,000, 500,000. Of course, other people can buy it as well, but I do think as a nation, it makes sense to grab some Bitcoin. Also, we are waiting for the ETF flows today. Last time I checked, we, ooh, okay. So this has come in since I started making the video because I was I was curious about this. We have smaller volume for IBID and FBTC compared to normal. We had an inflow on Bitwise and that was it. That's the only inflow that I can see here. Fidelity, negative $68 million. ArcB, negative $12 million and IBIT with an outflow of $45 million. Surprising because they've been such a strong holder of Bitcoin. Of course, they can't force the hedge funds to hold. So if they get cold feet, they're gonna sell. Now, after what we saw last week when the market was kind of predicting Trump to win and then in the last few days it stopped predicting, I bet had a ton of inflows. I would not be surprised if I bet broke a billion dollars worth of inflows here soon, especially if Trump does end up winning. Of course, again, we do not know for sure yet, but it's leaning that way. So I would not be surprised to see massive inflows. Um, we're just seeing you know, a very strong, very strong price action right now. And I think that if Trump does win, we'll probably break to new all-time highs. I think there'll be a lot of liquidations, a lot of people trying to get in before the pump because there will be people positioning themselves in these risk on assets. And I could always be wrong, right? I can't see the future. Anything can happen. I think it is important to remember that just the fundamentals of Bitcoin are getting much stronger. The Bitcoin difficulty just hit 100 trillion. What does this mean? This is the difficulty it, uh, to mine Bitcoin. It gets reset based on the hash power of Bitcoin, of the network. So there are more miners, stronger miners uh, that moves up the difficulty. We hit a recent peak of 750 exahash. Keep in mind, over the last three years, uh, three years ago, we were at 150, 160 exahash. So last bull run, end of last bull run, the, mar the, the hash power was one-fourth of what it is right now. Okay, so the market has just gone, or the... The Bitcoin miners have gone much stronger. They've gone uh, much better. They've scaled up. They've brought billions of dollars in to be able to buy more miners to secure this network better. The fundamentals continue to get better. There continues to be more money printed all across the world. So yes, well, this is kind of an interesting night. It's exciting for some people. It's stressful for other people. The fact is the fundamentals of Bitcoin the true value of Bitcoin continue to go up. You know, I've heard Michael Saylor talk about the 200-week moving average, maybe that being a good uh, indication of what the market's worth. Now, usually, <laughs> we have not moved below this 200-week uh, moving average for any extended period of time. This bull market, or actually, sorry, this bear market, we fell below it for a good period of time. I'm talking a few months, but it bounced right back above. I'd say probably 95% plus of the time that Bitcoin's been around, it's been above this 200-week moving average. Right now, that's sitting at about 41,000. And this is moving up every single week. So no matter what happens, this election, the fact is Bitcoin continues to gain strength. And I think, again, no matter what happens, there's been a ton of of uh, good things that have happened for Bitcoin. The fact that we're even talking about it in an election cycle, that there are politicians talking about it, that there are bills being passed to protect your rights to hold Bitcoin. That's awesome. The fact that there are much easier ways of buying it now, that pensions are buying it, that hedge funds are buying it, that people use this as a way to protect themselves against debasement of their currency is awesome. So I hope... 
I hope at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we appreciate this and we appreciate the time that we've been able to buy Bitcoin at these prices. Anything can happen over the next few hours, over the next few days, over the next year. But I like the position we're sitting in. Of course, if you want to trade, like I said, there is a link to Marjex underneath the video. I really do appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. And I'll see you all in the next one.